Vermicasting is a process where you utilize worms, in our case, they're called Waimanalo Blues or Indian Malaysian worms, to uh, process uh, waste such as food scraps, uh, cardboard, where the worms uh, attack this, this waste. Uh, there's two products that result from it. You can either get the castings, which are used in soil amendments and are really great for gardens. Uh, on the mainland, they really use the vermicasting process to raise worms as uh, bait. What our class is doing is we're trying to like do a little pilot to see if we can handle some of that cafeteria waste or cardboard recycling that is presently going on in campus. I want to take my class to Obamana Farms because the caretaker, the steward of that farm, Glenn Martinez, he's referred to as a worm wrangler and his expertise is worm. He was really into uh, sustainable uses of his farm. So I wanted the kids to have a kind of an overall feel for it and he has a big process where he utilizes the worms to create uh, his vermicast. We harvested uh, some of the bins he had and took some of the worms that were in the vermicast. Those were the worms that we brought back. We also had an opportunity to go to Luke Setter to harvest uh, one of their can of worm bins. It's a tiered bin where the worms worked their way up to the bin. So the lower bins are probably processed. So what we did was we poured out their bins and picked out their worms and we saved their uh, vermicast that will be used for a, a later time. But it was also important to show the kids how a, a smaller version can be useful in a household or at a classroom. On our classroom and I where we have the bins that were made out of the palleted wood uh, through the Wodehouse Scholarship, the kids took the worms that we got from all on our farms and we added them to the bin. The bedding was made out of paper that we got from the classroom, uh, egg pallets that we got from the cafeteria, some manure that was brought into our classroom. Uh, so those beds were really prime when, when we had them in there. Uh, so eventually we'll be able to share these worms with uh, other parts of the campus in the goal of being able to handle the pre-consumer waste from the uh, Pono cafeteria. We want to try to absorb all that and see how much we can do just on a class-to-class -class basis. Worm wranglers. With this vision, I think it's a win-win. Hopefully a worm processing plant or something of that nature uh, can be incorporated into plants for the future. We live on an island, an island community where landfills are already overflowing, so it's very important that the kids understand that they take responsibility and through this process that they can maybe take these ideas and in the future implement them.